In this demonstration of Balmney's front office for HP, I'm going to take you through some of the standard functionality uh, that's available within the self-service portal. So you can see straight away that we're presented with a number of categories in the system. Uh, each of these categories can be configured by a business user. Uh, there's no programming involved in any of the setup of the services, of uh, the request forms, or indeed the service catalog. That can all be configured by a business user. You can see if we click into one of these categories, so let's take workplace enablement. Once I go in there, uh, I see all the services that, that are available under there. Uh, and uh, we get this App Store look and feel uh, presented to the end user. Um, we also have the ability on services uh, to show uh, information that relates to that service. So an end user can come in, they can view all of the information on that service. And then if it's requestable, they can go and request that. This particular service is just an uh, information-only service, so it may relate to uh, uh, some of the uh, target levels and uh, help desk information uh, just to uh, guide them uh, along what's available. You'll also notice on here that we have a uh, version control. So each of the services, uh, as, it's, as it goes through being updated, has version control applied to it, uh, and you can see then uh, what, what changes have been made. Okay, so back to uh, the uh, service catalog here. Uh, if we wanted to go down into one of these requests, these are all requestable services, uh, and there's other videos uh, that will take you through some of these. Uh, so I'm just going to click on to uh, this one, which is request computer, and you can see the end user experience uh, will ask them to uh, fill in uh, certain fields, uh, complete certain boxes, and then all of that information will be passed over uh, to uh, service anywhere. As I say, there's other videos that touch on that, so, so please go and have a look at those if you want to see more about uh, how the form uh, gets filled in and, and passed over to, uh, to service anywhere. So within here then, I'm going to go out, now go and look in uh, my requests, and you can see here, here's some of the uh, requests that we've raised. We've got some uh, filtering so that we can uh, go and select requests that were raised within a certain time period that are a, a certain status or of a certain type if we wanted to uh, filter down onto that. We also have the ability to do an advanced search on here. So if you've got lots of requests and you wanna go and pick out particular types, then that can all be done uh, through this advanced screen here. Okay, so let's have a quick look at uh, one of the requests. So I drill down into my uh, change requests and here's one that was uh, completed early. You can see I can see all the uh, statuses associated with these. Uh, and within the request itself, you can go down, you can see all the information that the user's filled out, which is in blue. And then we've got the information that's coming back from uh, Service Anywhere down in this yellow box at the bottom. So this is where it picked up, uh, for instance, the change ID information and also the closure details and any updates uh, that were applied to that request over in Service Anywhere. So the end user always has a good view on what's going on. Uh, with their request. Also on here we have uh, inbox functionality, so this is used for both uh, approvals as they're going through the system uh, and also we have some manual inbox uh, capability that could be used for maybe some of the resolver groups uh, that aren't connected to, uh, to service anywhere. Also on here we have the uh, admin area, uh, so as I said at the beginning it's very easy to configure the system uh, through all of these different areas. Uh, each area can be uh, set so that it's only available to a particular group. So, for instance, we might only want to give the finance department access to come and update their approval matrix, and they wouldn't see any other boxes that are on here. In terms of editing, if I go into the service catalogue, you can see straight away it's very easy to come in and edit it uh, and change it. If I click down into uh, this one, employees, starters and leavers, we can actually see we've already got one of these uh, services in draft. So I can go in and actually edit that. Uh, and as soon as I'm editing it, you can see the experience is very easy to uh, update. If I wanted to put some more uh, text in there, uh, we can do that very easily. We also have an image manager and the image manager uh, allows us to take images from uh, a stock library or if your customer has specific images, we can upload those into the system uh, and get them using them straight away. So as I say, it's all available uh, from, the, uh, from the front end, and you can build up your forms and your catalogue uh, all through uh, the UI here. 
Also another interesting uh, area is the themes area. So this allows us then to set all the colors, all the themes, all the fonts within the system, and also to apply some basic images uh, at different levels uh, in the uh, header bar up here and uh, also on the uh, on the trolley as well so again very easy to come in and, uh, and and change all of those if i wanted to pick a color then you can see we just can come in and put the pantone color so if you have your customer branding that you want to apply uh, then that can all be applied very easily uh, here okay so also then let's go and have a look at the uh, my account section uh, in here we're able to set up different languages uh, we have 20 languages that you can choose from uh, and this enables you to go and raise a request in one language get it approved in another uh, and then sent out to uh, to another system as well okay we also support different uh, currencies in here and you can add up to I think it's 200 uh, different currencies are available within the system uh, and also we support different time zones and time zones are really come into play uh, when uh, we have SLAs that are going through uh, and also uh, we can uh, the, the end user can uh, select their own time zone to make sure uh, that those SLAs are kept uh, in line. Okay, also I have on here out of office details and uh, also the ability to, to change a password. So the normal sort of things uh, that you'd expect to have on a portal. Okay, so that's a very quick uh, overview of uh, the uh, front office portal for HP. Uh, it's very powerful, very easy to configure. Um, please have a look at the other videos uh, that go through some of the uh, more detailed request processing uh, and their interaction with uh, HP Service Anywhere. Uh, if you need more information, please go to www.barmy.com and uh, thanks for watching this video.